and Lone Bone is leading everyone back to Bro Mountain. What's up guys, we're back. Two more Kenshi, and we've just got a bunch of building materials. We're heading back, we're gonna bolster our uh, construction progress here, and I've kinda decided against getting more members right now, just cause I'm, I'm gonna have trouble keeping track of everyone's names. So <laughs> I don't just wanna hire like, you know, literally 50 people, and then just try to remember everyone's names and like what, what they're all about. This is easier to keep track of, so all right, we're gonna hire little by little, but now we're heading back. We gotta start doing some crafting and stuff like that. I wanna get, start getting better gear, gear that we can supply ourselves. So if we die, we can easily remake for ourselves. That'd be cool. Be completely self-sufficient and all that kind of stuff. That'd be good. So we got Evo, Lone Bone, Gregor, and Bodge from the last time. And oh my gosh, you guys really went to, um, <laughs> you guys really had an opinion on whom the mayor should be. I think it was really between Fuzzbro and Jerkins. And I think I'm gonna go with Jerkins on this. I think he's gonna end up being the mayor of uh, of Bro Mountain just cause uh, just cause he's adorable. And yeah, I don't want to favorite uh, anyone. And you guys said I was favoring Fuzzbro a little bit, so we'll see. We'll see how that whole thing goes. Oh my gosh! Right, and here we are. It's Fuzzbro. <laughs> I double clicked them by accident. So um, yeah, it seems like everything's working along here. How much building materials? We're starting to get some here. But we got like 25 building materials coming. We got Skeletal Super Resurgent. Is he still researching stuff? Oh yeah. That's right, stone refinery, steel bars, generators, all oh, this good stuff. It's all good stuff. And walls eventually. But no, I want to get the crafting. What the heck are these people? They're still, they're still here. These people are still here. Caravan. Well, we'll have stuff to uh, sell them one day. One day, very far in the future. Oh yeah, look at that. We can see ice. Is that ice socket? I thought it was like over this way. No, that's it. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, so we are running. And I guess maybe we'll go ahead and visit the police headquarters just to take a look at it. Just do a little bit of sightseeing out here because I know it's nearby. Right? Where's it at? It's somewhere on the map here. Oh, it's like right up this way. Oh gosh, we're running into like... I'm surprised we didn't get attacked actually. I wasn't paying any attention. This place is pretty quiet for being out in the middle of nowhere. Okay, so let's check out the police headquarters here. We just encountered a few adolescent dogs out here in the wastes, but really no bandits are, are even living out here. I mean, this place is completely clear. Trying to get some of our townspeople here to do some fighting as well. Where's, where's Bajet? Oh, look at that. Okay, so he's making some hits. And Henry Rabbit's doing good. He's kind of teaching him a thing or two. Uh, where's Gregor at? Okay, so these dogs went down real easy. I don't think... Oh, someone got hit. We got someone on the medic scene here. All right, so we're going to keep following Lone Bone to the police headquarters. Kind of interesting over here. I want to see... I guess they won't attack us on site, actually, uh, because because our yeah our, our relations. I think it's back down to uh, neutral, right? For the police, yeah, there it is. Oh, mercenary police. Oh, oh, there's different types of police. Okay, no, I think we're all good though. All right, let's let's just head back home and get to some building. We got we got a lot of building to do today. Really, I want to get stuff up and cracking in there. And on the way home, we found some bandits here, some starving bandits to be exact. So, uh, we have Jerkins giving him, uh, giving Lone Bone his, his only sword, because we're kind of down the sword. We're going to send the new guys in for some practice. How about them apples? <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead, get these guys together. They're going to do some fighting. And, and I guess, I guess the rest of us will do some backup. Any more bandits around here in this area? I don't think so. Okay, you guys ready? You guys ready? Probably not. Let's go fight. Well, they're fighting already. Where the heck were they running to? Okay, everyone's, um... Oh my gosh, you're gonna get their butts kicked. All right, so let's get the uh, let's get the Bushidos over here to back them up. Uh, <laughs> minus Jerkins, and all right, here we go. Let's just get them there, and let's see what the fighting is like. Hey, I'm seeing some green. That's amazing. That's good. Okay, so everyone's just kind of um, doing all right. You know what? I think I'm gonna send in the rest of the crew now. All right, everybody else, <laughs> go in here and attack. And I think Jerkins is running away. Yeah, darn it. Okay, just just get over here, man. That's, that's fine if you don't have a weapon. Just sit and watch. Watch the chaos unfold. Good, I'm glad we're getting in some combat this episode. Because I, I, was, I really want to build, like, tons of stuff. Like, we got so much work to do. I really want to get, like, an armor smithing or blacksmith or some kind of workshop. Oh, crap. Who's, um... Oh, what's Jerkins doing? Oh, he took... Oh, he took a weapon. <laughs> he auto-looted a bandit. Now he's fighting. Oh, that was awesome. Oh, cool, and we got another saber now, now that we downed this guy. Oh, that's so, look at this little crafty, crafty gremlin. Now he's hitting his, he's hitting them in the ankles. <laughs> that's right, Jurgens, do it up, do it up. What kind of, what kind of weapon is this staff anyway? Is that just like, uh, just blunt or what category? Saber. Oh, it's the same class as, as what, what we've been using. How about that? That's really cool. All right, so, taking out the last of them. Did any of the civil guys get knocked out? Yeah, Bodge got knocked out. His stomach got uh, pretty messed up. 
uh, Gregor and Evo seem pretty alright. Lone Bone took a bunch of damage, but he's just fine. And alright. That was very good. I'm very happy about our fight. It was very good. Hopefully we'll get into uh, some more fights here. <laughs> because we gotta build a militia eventually. And, uh, and Jerkins is on the job here. Getting all the uh, med stuff done. So I think, yeah, one of these guys had an actual saber. And I'm gonna give it to Jerkins, I suppose. Or I guess to Lone Bone. Yeah, this guy right here. And after all the running across the desert landscape, we are finally back home with all our newcomers. With, uh, yes, that's right, Evo, Gregor, Baj, and Lone Bone. They're here. Here, here to party. Right, guys? Now, they're probably exhausted and bleeding, right? Yeah, they're kind of, uh, they're, oh yeah. Baj's stomach is, like, totally out. And, alright, so I think we're gonna go ahead and build a, whatchamacallit, uh, a storage, a storage crate for building materials. Since we have so many building materials on us right now, I think, like, Bud Kai's loaded up. Uh, yeah, Apple, Swifty, yeah, we got tons of stuff loading up here, so I think it'd be easier if we could just throw all our stuff into, uh, barrels over here. And let's get our civil and everybody all together over here, so we can kind of defend ourselves if we do get attacked. Although I don't see anyone around here. No, oh, there's a there's a good fight down here. Maybe we can grab some stuff for uh, <laughs> for more newcomers later on. We can store some some stuff. But all right, so let's see. We got ten building materials here. Can we upgrade this stone processor? That's the question. Can we do that yet? Uh, oh, there it is. We can. Materials cost twenty. You gotta be kidding me. I think I think that's just all together. I think it's only gonna cost us the difference between what it was before. Alright, so we can upgrade that. Let's see, and we can upgrade, yes, this mine here too, to stone mine three. That's awesome. Yeah. And, and okay, some more efficiency and less people. I like that a lot. Can we upgrade this yet? No, not yet, but I think I think uh skeletal soup is working on that though. I think it's gonna be, yeah, coming eventually. Alright, so uh, I do want to build a weapons a weapons maker. Maybe an armor maker would be good first. Okay, well anyway, let's let's do the basics first. Get our storage crate going, upgrade our facilities, and Truth is always here to guard us. I like I like Truth. Look at her. She's just hanging out, being a boss. And yes, we went ahead and made the upgrade to our stone uh, crusher. And luckily, yes, all we had to do was just was just uh, add another 10 more uh, stones to this thing, so it's not that big of a deal. It, it kept the uh, previous 10, so Fuzzbro's gonna rebuild it up to that, and then he's probably gonna go ahead and add more. I, I like having just one engineer builder here, so like, it's like he actually uh, has all the uh, building materials in, in his inventory as he's like, you know, in between projects. We don't have like building materials in other people's inventories, it's all in one spot. And, uh, and yet, we actually have tons of building materials because it turned out that, uh, that both Cookie Lover and Kyla had uh, tons of building materials in their inventories that they weren't dropping off. So I have them hauling storage materials and operating machine uh, in, that, in that order so we don't have uh, a plug up of stuff. And now the same thing with the stone mine here. I think we're going to go ahead and upgrade this bad boy as well. Stone mine 3. Let's do it! Oh, it really just takes... Let's upgrade it a couple times. How many times can we do it? Okay, so we did it twice. Oh, stone mine four. Yeah, let's keep doing it. All right, so we just need a few more materials. Let's get like, okay, let's just get Bud Kai on it. Why not? Let's, let's build this thing up. Go, uh, go get those resources, Bud Kai. And nice. Ah, oh. yeah. Okay, so making progress. This thing's coming along real fast. And now we have everything running all so nicely. We got all our new guys mining and mining for stone, mining for ores. And we have Fiery Dylan on the uh, processor over here. And it, it looks like to me that we can't build a heavy weapons, um, I guess, blacksmith yet. We can only build the uh, fabric and clothing benches, not, not even leather yet. So I think it's like tier 3 tech for that. But we can build a weaponsmith, which is what, we'll, is what we're going to do eventually. But I see this steel refinery, and we do need a steel refinery to turn our raw iron into steel bars. And then we can go ahead and sell that stuff to buy some patterns. I think we're going to have a good system going here. So let's go ahead and plop down the steel refinery right next to our, I guess, uh, steel, steel pile. Let's just kind of plop it like right there. I guess that's good. We should have enough power because we upgraded our generators. So let's confirm that. And Fuzzbro, it's totally genius. Fuzzbro is our builder slash uh, hauler. And also, so Fiery Dylan doesn't have to leave her post. She can just be hauling, st stem processing all this stuff all day long without having to run back and forth. And uh, and any uh, yeah any materials Fuzzbro has in his inventory that he's not using, he'll just drop off back here or haul from the uh, stone processor. So yeah, and we have all these guys here <laughs> from the original Bushidos uh, ready to fight. And look at that, there's bandits right over there just waiting to be taken for their resources that we're going to go ahead and drop off and, and store up for all our newcomers. Although now that we're uh, advancing through the techs, 
um, we're, we're needing less and less people to operate things. That's kind of cool, too. But then again, we're going to be building more buildings for where more things will be going on. So, yeah, so I, I guess it's good for now. We might only have, like, ten civilians total uh, needed in our town. I don't know. Maybe we'll just get some more just for fun. <laughs> just just doing nothing, just walking around and, uh, and stuff like that. Maybe we'll try farming up here. Who knows? Although that's not going to be very successful. But all right, so Fuzzbro, the engineer, is building away. Got tons and tons of iron over here. This this box is kind of invisible, but there is a uh, an ore box right here. But okay, so everybody, uh, minus Fuzzbro and Skeletal Soup, let's move on this way and attack these dust bandits and get their stuff. Because yes, now we're gonna need money for all the patterns. I really want the chain shirt pattern too. That's something uh, that I really really would like to have. Cause chain shirts or uh, or just chain mail, even better. It's just like epic stuff. It's just like unbelievable defense. And we'd be like, oh gosh, they're already attacking. Wow, <laughs> they didn't waste any time. Let me go ahead and take everyone's backpacks off. And the fight for Lone Bone Sandals has begun. <laughs> Let's go. Oh yeah, and this chest plate. So, everybody get into the fight. This, this is the old, this is the pro, this is the pro Bushido Bros group here. I'm not, I'm not thinking we're going to have any problems. But man, one day when we get those toppers, that's going to be awesome. We'll be slashing a whole groups of enemies all at once. Look at these guys, they're like running for their lives. They're just getting dropped immediately. Uh, where's, where's their boss at? Where's their bandit boss at? Is this the- wait, who's this guy? Who's this- oh, we got ninjas in here, too! Where do these ninjas come from? Oh, crap! Oh, it's a big deal. It's a big deal. Hey, hey, Fuzzbro, are you still building stuff? Yeah, come on, come on down here, man. Come on down here. Join the fight. We're gonna need you, cause, uh, yeah, yeah, this, this just got- this just got a, a whole lot more serious. And, alright, so he took his backpack off. Nice, nice. Well, maybe we'll get Skeletal Soup down here, too. Yeah, let's get Skelly down here. Everybody get in the combat, because this is, uh, <laughs> I want to make sure that we're, uh, we're not going to die here. So, all right, Skelly's on his way, too. Oh, he's right here. Wow, he's a fast, he's a fast son of a gun. All right, so now everyone, all, all the Bushido bros are fighting against this threat to take over our town. Oh, my gosh. What's, what's Lone Bone doing here? Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess the whole town's helping out. Never mind. Everyone just kind of came over and just started fighting. And cutting these guys up. Why not? Why not? Get everyone involved. Yeah, I forgot to put all the civil on passive. But you know what? This is good fun. It's good times. We're going to have some awesome weapons to sell. And maybe distribute after all this. I don't know how I missed these ninjas. I didn't even see them come in. But it got dropped. I wonder if they have bounties on their heads. I could, I could always... <laughs> we could always hand them in for a little bit of bounty pay. Oh, Eric the Epic got hit. But he's just fine. We're gonna have to build more beds too now, now that we got a whole ton of people. Oh, looks like their bandit leader is gonna get taken out. <laughs> he got surrounded. Where, where are we going now? Are we going on a field trip? Okay, everyone, back to work. I love how everyone just literally runs back to work. Oh, uh, that's good. So Fuzzbro, even Skelly Soup is going? No, Skelly Soup, get back to research, man. Oh, I see. He's waiting for a heal. Uh-oh. We got this guy getting back up again. There we go! <laughs> Everyone charge and slash and act this guy. Oh, man. Alright, so we're gonna see what we got out of all this. Hopefully we got some decent loot. And not too much really came out of that. We made some money. Bud Kai looted all the bodies. We got a few of these plates here. One standard grade plate. That's kind of nice. Bunch of cheap uh, ninja blades that are really not that valuable. And Swifty got an upgrade. He has, has this uh, ring saber now. Eventually, I guess everyone's going to have those, <laughs> depending on how many bandit bosses we keep taking out uh, for the time being. And then over here, yes, everyone's back at work. Everyone's doing good. Actually, Lone Bone got some nice new pants. These are my favorite types of dust bandit pants, these like raggedy ones. So he's got the worn out shorts, working away there <laughs> with Bodge. And uh, yeah, all right, so next episode, we're going to build tons more beds. This, uh, this iron steel refinery is going to be up and running. So we're going to start getting some steel bars. We'll build a, a crate to store all our steel bars in from our ore bars. And then we're going to go sell all this stuff and do more adventuring to try and find more people who want to join us and more schematics. I feel like there's good schematics down here in Hefton Bark. Something's just pulling me in this direction. So we might go there or we might go to Skinner's Room and Fort Simon. We, actually, yeah, we might head this way. Uh, right past Eye Socket. What's over here? Oh, Outpost 3. Oh, Free Traders. Oh, I think that's some really good trading there. Yeah, we got to go there. All right, so next episode, we're going to head straight south. And then, uh, yeah, sell. Sell a whole bunch of, um, I guess, metal. Metal for now. Yeah, make money. Get to Tech 3. Lots to do around here. And I'm glad there's still action. We still got lots of fighting going on here. All right, so everybody get back here. Probably everyone who's not working are the ones who are going to head out. Maybe we should leave some behind. So they can kind of defend the base. 
I think maybe Fuzzbro and Skelly can do it. We'll see. But alright, so I'll see you guys next time. Yeah.